Hello, my friend. I'm back again along with our trusted pencil. You remember the same pencil that if placed on the ground or on a table, it has no purpose, does nothing, has no meaning, unless or until it is held in someone's hand. But even then, it really doesn't do much until it is sharpened. And when it is sharpened, what is inside is revealed. And that's what I want to talk about today. Once God has opened up yourself or you to something that you yourself may never know, you are revealing and he's revealing through you something that would benefit not just you, but society. So what do you do once you're revealed and what is inside of you is seen? The next step is critical. And here it is. You leave a mark. We go back to Paul. You remember Paul? The same Paul who was persecuting the church, who was first Saul, and then he became Paul. That same Paul who says rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. The same Paul who says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The same Paul who used to persecute the church. That same Paul after he met Jesus Christ. Paul said something in 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 7. This is what he says. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course and I have kept the faith. That's what Paul said. Because Paul had been sharpened after he was held in God's hands. And what was inside of him was revealed. And now Paul was ready to leave a mark. The question that you have to answer today is very simple. What mark? are you leaving in someone else's life? What mark has someone left in your life? I would suggest to you today that if you are held by God in God's hands and he opens you up and you become vulnerable to society, to the world, to your family, to your friends, it is only then that you're able to truly demonstrate the calling that God has placed in your life. Maybe God has something hidden inside of you that he wants to reveal so someone else could be blessed by you. The question is, what are you going to do with that pencil that is your life? After you've been sharpened, what mark will you leave? All of us at some point will leave a mark. We have to answer the question, what mark is that going to be? Will that be a mark that I'll be proud of later on? Is that something that someone will come later and see and it will cause them to do better or it will cause them to do worse? What mark are you leaving? I suggest to you today that if you truly want to have an impact in this world, on society, and even if you don't want to have a major impact, just remember the simplest mark on a white piece of paper stands out because that's all that is there. Make sure that whatever it is that stands out from you, it is something that you could be proud of. What mark are you leaving on society? May God bless you as you leave your mark. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, some young person, someone watching right now would like to leave a mark that would be meaningful for years to come. I pray that you will bless such a person and bless each person in the hearing of my voice that they will leave a mark that will not only make them proud, but will make you proud. To that end, Lord, take our lives and may it be consecrated to you. In your name we pray. Amen.